In this lecture, you will learn what is strict mode in JavaScript and why should we use strict mode while writing JavaScript programs. The strict mode in JavaScript is a special mode which makes it easier to write secure code. That means it helps us to avoid any unforeseen errors. In simple words, strict mode changes previously accepted bad syntax into real errors. Let's see how to activate strict mode for a JavaScript program. To activate strict mode, we use a string use strict and that's it. This statement will activate the strict mode for this entire script. Now remember that this statement has to be the very first statement in this script. If we have a code before this statement, then the strict mode will not work. Comments are allowed because comments will be ignored by the JavaScript engine, but no code. Now, we learned that strict mode allows us to write secure code. And by secure code, I mean that it allows us to avoid any accidental errors. So basically, it allows us to avoid bugs to be introduced in our code. Okay, so this strict mode forbids us to do certain things while writing JavaScript code. And it will create visible errors for us in certain situations in which without strict mode, JavaScript will simply fail silently without letting us know that we did a mistake. Let's understand this with an example. So let's say I want to create a variable, let's say first name. And to this, I will assign a value, maybe John. Now here, I'm not using any keyword to declare this variable. So we have learned that when we don't use any keyword to declare a variable, it, you know, this variable will be created as a property on the window object. Now, if I don't use strict mode, so if I go ahead and comment this statement, and if I save the changes, you will see that we don't have any error. But in strict mode, declaring a variable without using any keyword is not allowed. So now if I go ahead and save the changes, you will see that we have an error. First name is not defined. So you cannot declare a variable like this in strict mode. You cannot declare a variable without using let const or var keyword. Now, if I go ahead and if I use let const or var keyword to declare this variable, and then if I save the changes, then the error is gone. Okay. So in strict mode, you cannot declare a variable without using a keyword like let, let const or var. Now, I mentioned that this use strict should always be the very first statement in the script, right? Let's go ahead and let's use console.log statement before this use strict statement. And from here, let's simply log hello. Okay, if I save the changes, hello is logged. Now, if I remove this let keyword, we saw that in strict mode, we cannot declare a variable like this. But now what I have done is, before this use strict statement, I have used a code. So now if I go ahead and save the changes, you will see that we don't have any error, even though we have used this use strict statement. This is because before this use strict statement, we have this console.log statement. And because of this, since we are using a code before this use strict statement, this use strict statement will not activate the strict mode because it is not the very first statement in this script. But if I go ahead and remove this console.log statement from here, and now if I go ahead and save the changes, the strict mode will be enabled and it will throw the error. Okay, so always remember that this use strict should always be the very first statement in the program. Otherwise, the strict mode will not work. So this is one example where the strict mode does not allow us to declare a variable without using a keyword. Now let's see another example. Let's create two variables. The first variable is, let's say, is eligible for voting. And let's set it to false. Let's create another variable. Let's say is full age. And let's set this is full age to true. Now I'm going to write an if statement. And here I will check if the value of is full age is true, then I want to set the value of is eligible for voting to true. 
So let's go ahead and do that. But let's say while typing this variable name, I misspelled it. So instead of uppercase F, here I have used lowercase F. So I have misspelled this variable. Now let's go ahead and log this variable in the console. So let me copy this. Let's paste it here. Now while logging it, I have not misspelled it. All right. And let's comment this strict mode for now. And let's go ahead and save the changes. So here we don't have any error, but the result is false. Now, as a developer, I am not aware that I am I have misspelled the variable name because JavaScript has not thrown any error or any warning message that I have misspelled a variable. This variable is not at all, not at all available, right? So here, if you notice, the expected result is true because this is full age is true. And when this is full age is true, we are setting the value of is eligible for voting to true, right? But since we have misspelled it, and as a developer, I am not aware that I have misspelled it. And when I'm logging it, I'm getting an unexpected result. And this is a pretty common mistake which many developers make. Okay, it is pretty common to misspell a variable name while typing it. But since JavaScript is not throwing any error, the developer is not aware that he has misspelled a variable name. And because of that, we have an unexpected result. All right. Now, if I enable the strict mode, and now if I go ahead and save the changes, JavaScript will immediately throw an error saying that this is eligible for voting is not defined. And the developer will come to know that at this line, so line number 12, he has misspelled the variable name. So he can go ahead and correct it and then he can get the desired result. But since without strict mode, JavaScript is not throwing that error, developer is not aware and he is getting an unexpected result. And this could be a reason of many bugs in the program. And in this way, strict mode allows us to avoid any accidental errors and it throws visible errors in the console which a use you know a developer can see and then he can rectify his mistakes okay so strict mode allows us to avoid any unforeseen error by throwing errors all right so this is another example let's comment this code here and let's see one more example so let's say I have a function. Now we have not talked about functions yet, but we are going to talk about it in this section. But remember that a function can take some values and we provide those values as function parameters. So let's say this function greet is taking two parameters. Let's say param and the second parameter is also param. So here we are specifying the same name for both of these parameters. Now let's go ahead and let's call this greet function and here let's pass two values let's say hello and fold okay and inside this function let's simply log param and param all right now if i don't use strict mode if i save the changes you see, we don't have any error, but in the output, we have two worlds. But for this first param, we specified hello. And for the second one, we specified world. But in the output, we have world, world. So again, we have an unexpected result. And that's because by mistake, the developer has provided same name for the both parameters. Okay, so when we are not using strict mode, we are not getting any error. But if I enable the strict mode again by uncommenting this use strict statement, and if I save the changes now, you will notice that we have an error. Duplicate parameter name not allowed in this context. Okay, so in strict mode, uh, we are not allowed to have same parameter names for a given function. And this use strict has thrown that visible error. Now the developer can see this error and then he can go ahead and rectify his mistake. So we can call this first parameter param1, second parameter param2. And now if we save the changes, 
okay param is not defined that's because it should be param 1 and param 2 so now if we save the changes it should get the correct output okay so this is another example now one more thing which you need to remember is that in strict mode you cannot use keywords reserved for the future javascript version okay so for example let's say i want to create a variable interface and let's set it to 28. now this interface is a reserved keyword for future javascript versions if i don't use strict mode javascript will not throw any error okay so we don't have any error but if i use strict mode then the reserved keyword for future javascript versions cannot be used as a variable name if i save the changes now you will notice that we have an error unexpected strict mode reserved word okay so that means this is a reserved keyword for future version of javascript and we cannot use it as a variable name so with these four examples now i hope that it is very clear why should we use you know strict mode while writing javascript programs because it allows us to avoid any unforeseen errors and it also allows us to avoid any bugs which we can introduce in the program okay so in this way strict mode allows us to write secure code by throwing visible errors this is all from this lecture thank you for listening and have a great day